this crowded market, bargains are advertised in three different languages. The Arabs, Kurds and Turkmen here are preoccupied with prices, not politics. But after a series of suicide bombings, they feel Kirkuk is being dragged into something bigger. The danger is not inside, but it comes from outside the province. Explosives are not small things. In the latest attack this week, just next to the market, a group of suicide bombers tried to storm the police headquarters. 16 people were killed and 90 wounded, including an Iraqi general. This tells us about uh, uh, the fact that uh, Al-Qaeda is, is back in Iraq. And we feel that uh, uh, not having that cooperation and the raids they were carrying out together uh, against terror suspects and hideouts uh, is probably one of the main reasons that we have increased uh, Al-Qaeda uh, activities in Kirkuk. Here, where people shop for secondhand shoes, you wouldn't know Kirkuk was Iraq's northern oil capital or that Iraqis were killed here recently. People are out in the streets here even the day after a major attack, but they're nervous. In two years, there was only one suicide bombing in Kirkuk. In the last six months, there have been seven. Kirkuk has been fought over for decades. Saddam Hussein expelled Kurds and Turkmen to try to make it an Arab city. But now they're back. Who controls Kirkuk is now a security issue and not just a political problem. I believe there are two basic matters that are worsening the security situation in Kirkuk. The first is the dispute between Erbil and Baghdad in handling the security situation in this province. And the second is not letting the people of Kirkuk province participate in their right to self-determination. While other areas will hold provincial elections in April, Kirkuk won't. The issue is too volatile. And people say elections would be an invitation to more violence. Jane Arath, Al Jazeera, Kirkuk, Iraq.